What would life be like without any government? Would it be a utopia or would it be miserable? The 17th century English philosopher Thomas Hobbes famously leaned in the latter direction. He wrote in his books Leviathan that in the state of nature, without government, life would be solitary, poor, nasty, brutish and short. Hobbes believes that the natural condition of mankind is a state of war of every man against every man. In a state of nature, individuals would be driven by their self-interest and would constantly compete for resource and power. In this situation, there would be no security or safety for anyone. An individual would be in a constant state of fear for their lives. He thinks all humans are equal when it comes to matters of survival. Nobody is powerful enough to be immune to attack. Even if the weakest person can kill the strongest if there is nobody around to stop them. In this state of nature, this equal ability to kill each other leads to mistrust. All your belongings and your life itself might be taken at any moment because there is no greater power to stop anyone from attacking you. In this situation, people consist of a war of all against all. Some people would attack you because they need your resource to survive. Others would attack you because they want to be more powerful than everyone else. You must constantly be ready to fight even if you would prefer not to because the only way to ensure your safety is to go after others before they come after you. In this state of nature, things like farming, manufacturing, science and the arts are a waste of time because you can't be sure you will enjoy the result of your labour. It could be taken away from you at any time. Everyone lives in constant fear and danger of violent death. It seems like a terrible scenario. Hobbes says if you can't trust your neighbours to leave you alone even when there are laws against a theft and assault, imagine how much worse it would be if people were free to do anything they thought was necessary to survive in this state of nature. If life in this state of nature would be intolerable, then what is the solution to escape this state of nature? Hobbes proposes that it would be irrational to set up a government. He reckons that humans are rational creatures and we can all see that it would be better if we agreed not to rob and murder each other. But without a government, these agreements will fall apart because there is nobody to ensure that all parties stick to the deal. He suggests that the only way to skip this state of war and chaos is for individuals to give up some of their natural rights and freedoms to a centralised government. This government, known as Leviathan, would have the power to enforce laws and keep order, so protecting citizens from one another. He proposes that the people must willingly give up their rights to the government to achieve this protection. We do this by forming a special sort of contract or agreement with each other. To secure peace, this strong government enforces these agreements. This will create a government ruled by a sovereign that we have all agreed to obey. The sovereign will make and enforce laws. Chaos will be replaced with the order. He tells us that the state of nature is so terrible that any sort of government can be acceptable. You must obey the ruler, whether it is a king, an aristocracy or a democracy, even if the ruler passes oppressive laws that you dislike. Even under an oppressive ruler, there can be trade, art and industry, and you won't have to worry that your neighbour will murder you. He assumes that these powers are all linked together. To keep the peace, he suggests the ruler must have power over everything. The army, the treasury, the judiciary, what is taught in schools and anything else that it needs to prevent the state of nature. To end, we might certainly disagree with some of Hobbes' theories and solutions for the state of nature, but not forget that the walls and the chaos around him shaped his view of human brutality in the state of nature. We might ask ourselves how brutal we might get if there isn't a law to take us accountable for our actions.